Good afternoon everyone. My name is Tanvir Hussain. I am working as a research assistant at Intelligent Media Laboratory. Uh, this presentation is about the usage of latex for research writing. It is uh, a kind of tutorial for uh, the use of latex uh, in research writing. Uh, these are the main contents of the presentation. First of all, uh, there is an introduction of the latex and then uh, uh, I will explain about the structure of latex document. Uh, next, I will go through the mm, uh, through the working mechanism of uh, an online latex editor that is very easy for use, and then I will uh, show you how to create a latex document. And uh, next, we will go through the some uh, basic tags that are commonly used for uh, making a research document, such as a journal article, thesis, etc. Uh, these basic tags uh, which I will discuss include sections, subsections, labeling and uh, citing a reference analytics document uh, about the font effects list, uh, uh, comments and spacing and uh, the most importantly uh, inserting equations analytics document uh, and after that we will go and go to the online latex editor and we will do some practice and then I will give you uh, an overview of some basic mistakes that are very common uh, in research writing and uh, I will recommend some uh, some useful uh, some useful suggestion uh, for research writing so uh, let's go to the introduction part uh, what is latex so it is actually pronounced as LATIC and it is a document preparation system to, pr to produce some professional looking documents. Uh, actually it is different from a word processor and uh, you can use it for like to generate uh, long and structured documents and also uh, we can uh, insert different type of mathematical equations into it and uh, as for uh, most of the usage uh, for the research is a uh, Microsoft Word and uh, latex in contrast to Microsoft Word has different uh, working style we are like in Microsoft Word we have the output in front of our eyes like what you see is what you get but uh, in the in the latex uh, the, the concentration is on the contents rather than appearance and uh, you have to compile your document to see your final output and to see what you have changed in your document so this is about latex and uh, the latex is uh, actually uh, is like word has uh, a common file uh, whose extension is dot doc or dot docx but the latex uh, has its extension dot tex and it is also a plain text file uh, just with a D dot tex extension and uh, we can use any type of text editor like notepad notepad plus plus sublime text or any other editor that is convenient to us uh, uh, to write the latex uh, document but uh, most of the people are comfortable to use like some dedicated dedicated latex editors uh, that I will uh, show you in the next slide uh, regarding the uh, regarding the uh, um, structure of the latex document there are some tags as like in some web programming languages like HTML CSS etc uh, latex also has the use of tags to mark the document structure and to uh, employ some equations or to make some lists or to insert some figure or anything you do in the latex uh, it's uh, you have to do it through the uh, through the tags and like without tags you cannot use the uh, latex document and you cannot create a professional uh, professional document in latex so this is about the structure of the uh, this is about the usage of uh, latex 
and whenever the writing is finished or uh, nowadays like there are uh, there are a lot of editor with uh, with with much convenient output uh, alongside the writing you do uh, but normally uh, for some for some text editors and for some other latex editors you have to convert your .dx file into like uh, any shareable format such as pdf and then you can uh, submit it to a journal or you can easily share with your friends or in your circle going next uh, we will see the structure of a latex document uh, where as i er said earlier that it has uh, an extension of tex uh, which we can create through uh, which we can create in simple notepad or we can use any uh, editor of our own choice uh, but uh, there are also some handy uh, third-party software applications available to edit and compile your latex documents such as text maker which you can see in the mm, uh, in the hyperlink and you can go over there if you want to download it's free for use and uh, there is text next center etc there are other a lot of other options if you want to uh, uh, employ you can search uh, you can google it uh, and also the most convenient that uh, I also prefer is Overleaf that is an online uh, latex editor uh, where you have a lot of options such as you can share and you can edit uh, you can get comments from your professor or your senior uh, with with just one go is like uh, you if you are editing a document uh, in Overleaf you can uh, you your friends and your seniors and your professor can also view your document and they can also uh, give you some comments online without any uh, without any third party uh, involvement like you don't have to uh, send them documents and you don't have to reserve their space through emails or through kakaotalk etc so it's very convenient for usage so uh, if we create uh, a new file uh, with the tex extension then uh, according to the um, uh, according to the latex rules there are some basic tags that you must have to put in your uh, in your document like uh, these uh, these are uh, very necessary these are obligatory uh, for inclusion in your in your document these tags are like uh, document class where you can specify some some attributes like for example a four paper with 12 uh, 12 pt uh, font size and you can also specify what type of uh, document you are creating it can be article it can be a conference proceeding or it can be a thesis document and then you uh, this is actually a tag the backslash with the uh, document class the document class is a reserved word and uh, here we go we begin the document and then we just type here for example this is patron recognition class and then we end our document so this is a, a latex document with all these uh, basic tags that are uh, uh, mandatory for inclusion uh, that are mandatory for inclusion but a part of these tags as i said earlier that uh, if you are uh, if you are working in latex you have to do everything with the help of tags so there are a lot of other tags too uh, but uh, we will uh, uh, we will try to cover um, referencing tag or some labeling tags uh, that are very necessary that are very basic and uh, uh, if you are typing a research article so uh, without those tags you cannot uh, you cannot complete your document so we will cover just only those tags but i will also guide you how to find uh, uh, how to find the resources and how to find the uh, tags that you want to include if uh, for uh, your uh, for your presentation like if you want to make a presentation through latex so you can also do that this is the uh, online editor that i mentioned uh, and we will work in the uh, overleaf it's called overleaf where you ha you have uh, you have this structure where you have uh, this is the website and you can create new projects and here you can uh, also see 
you view your projects and what which project is shared with you and a lot of other options they are on the left side of the window and uh, there you have a um, input window where you put your tags and your code is like I uh, I have put this code here and this is the output window where you see what you have written so for example if I have written this code and I have written these uh, uh, these tags so this is the output of uh, output of this code when I compile it uh, so it is already mentioned here that this is input window and this is output window so uh, as I mentioned in the previous slide that document class command must appear at the start of every latex document and without that the latex document is incomplete and uh, here in the text it specifies the document class and uh, the the article it is like suitable it is feasible if you are if you are creating a very uh, like some short report that you want to send to your professor or uh, you are preparing a journal uh, paper or something like that so you can use the article class and uh, uh, you can uh, you can complete your uh, professional document so um, that's all about the introduction of the um, of the uh, overleaf and introduction about uh, latex so now we will go over there and we will do some practical working and we will apply the tags we will learn about uh, uh, how to write equations we will learn about how to uh, how to make our document look more professional so uh, we will go to the website and we will uh, create our own document and uh, we will see how it works so to start with the uh, overleaf uh, you can google just uh, overleaf and hit enter the first link you have to open and here if you are new to the overleaf you don't have any account so you can register yourself with your email and create your own password and if you already have your overleaf then you can just log in is like for me i already have an account there so i will just uh, go with the link project for me and the good thing is that um, uh, you don't have to create the basic requirements is like you don't have to type the document class and where are the sections and all the stuff and where you have to begin the document uh, everything is uh, automatically managed by the uh, online la uh, online latex editor you just need to uh, you just need to focus on the contents of the of the of your research or of your thesis or whatever it is so first of all i will uh, uh, is like we have this title uh, this is uh, actually a basic tag and you can if like for example if you are uh, making uh, if you are making uh, mm, uh, some some uh, research papers you can give it your title uh, for example my title uh, my title is XYZ so you can just give any title and uh, here you can click on recompile or you can also uh, hit control plus enter or control plus s to see your output for example if i click on recompile it will uh, change the title and uh, it will uh, show you the output so as i showed in the presentation here this is the input window and this one mm, is the output window so mm, here i will remove the other for the time being and the date also we will leave the title is like it and uh, another good point is that you have the built-in dictionary here is like in microsoft word or some other um, uh, text editors so you also have the built-in dictionary here and you can uh, correct your words from here so this is the document begin and uh, this is they have some uh, random section that they have created already for you for your ease uh, and that's introduction section uh, but uh, if it's not your first section so you can replace it so as i uh, mentioned in the presentation first of all we will learn about sections uh, 
so in uh, is like in our journal article or in thesis or in some other document most of the times we have to divide our document into several sections like for example the first one is introduction and then there is some related work or literature review or for example if you are generating a report then first of all you tell about the, mm, uh, the working environment and then you uh, create another section of uh, how your experimental results look like and then you create another final section of uh, what uh, what are the mm, outputs of your research or what are the output of your uh, project report so the same thing goes here and we also have to divide our document into several sections so for that we have some specific tags that is the first one is you just put this slash and you just say section and whenever you type uh, like whenever latex editor uh, i mean oil leaf comes to know that uh, you are about to type some some tag then it gives you a lot of suggestions like for example section set length use package etc etc so you can uh, you can uh, you can type any any of them like for example uh, use package or something like that so uh, you can type any of them but i'm concerned about the uh, i'm concerned about the section so i will uh, uh, hit enter here and then i can mark this section as uh, uh, related work and whenever i hit control plus s that is for save then you can see it will recompile the whole file and uh, I can see another section created for me so that's a good thing you can just see the output uh, at once by clicking just control plus s or control plus enter and uh, the next thing is like for example if I want to create some more uh, some more section that are subsections of this introduction section so then I have another tag that is called uh, subsection so for example the first uh, subsection it's called motivation so i can write motivation and then for example uh, my second subsection is about the um, about the uh, contributions of my research so i can write here uh, contributions uh, so whenever i compile it uh, you can see there will be uh, two section that is and uh, another uh, another positive point is that you don't have to worry about the bullets numbering like uh, latex uh, worries for it and you don't have to take care of these things you don't have to write the numbers and then you don't have to update the numbers uh, after a certain period or after a certain time when you insert some other some other stuff so latex will worry about it and that is uh, first 1.1 1.1 1.1 and 1.2 now for example in related work i have some subsection that is uh, for example traditional machine learning traditional pattern recognition methods and then i have some uh, so then i have the another subsection that is advanced pattern recognition methods so when i compile it i can see that the numbering is automatically marked by the latex that is 2.1 and 2.2 so i don't have to worry about the numbering so this is about the sections and as you have uh, the paragraph section which is not much important but if you want you can create like for example in motivation I want to add a paragraph then I can say for example uh, then I I can I can name this paragraph uh, for example sample paragraph and then I can write uh, I am writing this paragraph to see the output of how a paragraph looks like and when I compile it you can see there will be uh, a sample paragraph that is the heading of the paragraph and then I am writing all this stuff but uh, if you are writing a research paper you don't need this so you can remove this and you can just 
I write a paragraph and you can see the uh, the tab is automatically given to the paragraph and also you can see you can you can have another tag that is called sub paragraph but uh, you can insert it and you can practice on it uh, on your own the next thing is uh, about labeling uh, where for example if you want to label your section so you can you can use the label command and then you can mm, you can uh, label any section or any subsection and then you can reference it in uh, any part of your document for example if you are writing a thesis and there are about around about 40 to 50 pages then you have to worry about the mm, you have to worry about the referencing for example if you want to uh, refer to uh, an introduction section from the from the very beginning uh, or from the end of the uh, from the end of your thesis then you can just uh, refer to it as like in uh, Microsoft Word we have hyperlink or something like that so here we have the labeling and that uh, we have the labeling tag that is label so for example um, I want to uh, label my contributions uh, and uh, I want to label them is for example novel contributions and you can also like for example if you want to name it through through some numbers like section one or something like that you can also do that but uh, uh, if you uh, like this is the easy way like one can remember the like, uh, novel contributions or contributions uh, word easily as it's an english name and it's easy to uh, be memorized so if i label it as uh, novel contributions and then i have uh, i have to refer to it in any another subsection that is uh, section 2.2 .2, uh, for example i am referring to then i have to use the ref tag ref and then i have to refer to uh, like the the editor is uh, already giving me suggestion but if uh, if you want to memory if you want to remember you can easily remember the novel contribution when i uh, click novel contributions so then i can see i can see that uh, i am referring to 1.2 uh, which is the novel contribution this, this section see like you can see here contribution 1.2 so uh, whenever if i update some sections uh, for example i update i include another subsection here that is advantages of previous methods and i press control plus s so the this section will be automatically updated see this is 1.3 so they are automatically the advanced pattern recognition methods where i referred the uh, reference so it is automatically updated so this is how i uh, this is how i refer to some point or i refer to um, some uh, some label that i already created for myself and this is called labeling the third important point the third very much important i will say uh, uh, tag is about the referencing like uh, how to refer and how to cite a reference uh, in latex file so for that like we have uh, a specific file that is called bib text uh, bib text and its extension is dot bib uh, where we have to put all our reference that are uh, that are considered that we will have that we will use in uh, in our document for example i am using this document so related to this document i'll have another file with that bib extension uh, that will contain all of my um, all of my the all of my references and uh, we can also is like this file uh, we can also uh, we can also um, create this file using notepad or any of other uh, uh, latex editing tool so um, how to refer how to uh, refer or how to copy reference from uh, an external source into the uh, latex file that's very easy for example i go to uh, google scholar
and then I say uh, for example I search for a I, I'll search my own paper of course so this is my paper and I have to click here and then I have to click webtex and then I have to select this and click copy uh, so one thing I have to do is uh, I have to create a new uh, new file with dot uh, bib extension that uh, I have to click here and uh, my references dot bib I have to create this and then I have to paste what I already copy so there are uh, there are several points for consideration in this in this uh, reference uh, the most important is this uh, at the red article here it represents the uh, it represents the nature of the document like for example I am citing an article or for example if uh, I, I have to cite some conference proceedings then here it is written as preceding or for example I am referring to workshop or I am referring to a thesis so this one represent that um, the nature of the document that I am referring to and uh, this thing it is used as uh, it is actually the last name of the first author and uh, there is also the mm, uh, year and also there we have the mm, we have the first keyword uh, first word that is used in the title and this thing is used uh, uh, to refer to uh, in from your document like for example in 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 this file if I want to cite this paper uh, then I have to uh, then I have to search, say for example accepted by now for example I want to uh, cite I want to cite the um, I want to cite this paper uh, then normally there are a lot of other references to this uh, this this document is filled from references so uh, for the ease you can say for example site then here I have uh, I'll have the list of all the references that I already copied into my references but uh, in, in this situation I have only one reference so I'll click on this and uh, send now uh, when I uh, when I recompile this file then I'll have an error instead of uh, uh, an error here or there will be some question mark uh, because uh, I have to do some some urgent work before I want to cite something uh, and that urgent work is is to uh, is to include the bibliography style and uh, also you have to refer to your uh, to your references file like for example I click recompile there will be a question mark here like see because it doesn't know that what the what is this reference so I have to include what first of all I have to include the biblio graphy style which you can say plain and then I have to uh, refer to the bibliography file then for that you have the bibliography tag and then you can type the my references dot vib now I click the uh, e-compile button and there we have this is the first reference and here we have the uh, reference of this citation so this is how we cite uh, any any reference from google scholar or some other website uh, into into our latex uh, into our latex file 
the next tag is uh, about the font effects that is not very much uh, difficult uh, for example um, here we have text it uh, this is italic text and then we have i'll copy we have text it and we have uh, text sl for slanted words and we have uh, text sc with small caps and then we have uh, text sf uh, this is uh, this is for slanted words and this is for uh, small caps and this is for sans serif text let's see the output this is italic text this is slanted text this is small caps text this is sans serif text and another important one is for underline and for underline you can type here underline this is sans serif text this is underline text and you can see the output here so this is about the font effects and you can also create some lists for example I have the list then for list you have to begin and you you have to say for example enumerate and then it already created the necessity things for me that is uh, what I have to put for example I have first item and then I have a second item and then I have third item let's see the output first item second item and for example in second item I have some some for example some sub items and I have to begin another another section uh, that is uh, begin itemize and then this is the sub item for example sub item of second item sub item two of second item this is one so press control s and you can see sub item uh, one of second two so this is about lists and uh, regarding the comments so if you want to comment uh, uh, comment any sentence or any any sections uh, you can just simply write the in person sign and that sentence will be removed will not be compiled by the compiler of latex so uh, it's very easy if you want to give comments uh, empty spaces in latex document they are considered uh, like only single space is uh, compiled and uh, they are treated as an empty an empty space but if you insert a lot of empty spaces they are not considered as like for example if i give a lot of spaces here so it is only considered as a single space and the simi uh, the similar way is uh, treated and the similar way like we have to treat uh, with the with the lines for example if I insert empty lines so they are only considered as a single line and uh, the other thing is like for example if I want to to give a uh, to give a line break for example these are some th these are some sentences on a similar line then I have to use two backslashes and uh, it will go on the other line for the new line and uh, i can also put some other backslashes 
uh, but we have to note that uh, if we put two backslashes it is not considered as a single line so every two backslashes it will go to the new line so for example i have four backslashes two lines i'll go down and uh, another important point is that the symbols if you if you put some symbol like for example i i put symbol of uh, hash here so uh, these these hashes etc they are not considered and they are not uh, compiled by the the compiler but if you want these uh, if you want these symbol like for example hash uh, dollar symbol in person sign percentage sign or any other uh, symbol then you have to put a backslash before it like for example hash and for example this sign if i uh, compile it then i can see the the output here and if i remove this backslash then i won't see any uh, like you can see this is giving an error uh, and i also won't see any output for uh, for these special characters moving ahead now uh, we'll try to insert some figures that are also very important for consideration and uh, a journal article or a thesis most of the times they contain a lot of images so uh, to include uh, an image and to insert a figure first of all we need to use a package uh, there are a lot of built-in packages but uh, we have to use uh, the package related to graphics uh, and without that we cannot insert any figure and the next next important thing is if you want to uh, to insert uh, to insert a figure then uh, the most important thing and a recommended thing is that you create a folder uh, that is named as images uh, and uh, then you upload your images to the this folder like for example i have uh, i have an image and i want to upload it to uh, this this folder then i can refer to that image so i will click upload and then i will go to the images that i have uh, like uh, i'll go here and i will drag this image here so it will be directly uploaded here is like you can see this is the image that i want to insert into my main file into my pdf for example i wanted to insert uh, here so uh, uh, after that the, the i have to i have to begin a section that is uh, figure and uh, after I, I i begin this section then you can see like everything is created the other uh, tags are created by the latex itself and i don't need to worry about it and here i will go uh, and uh, update the caption is a sample figure inserted here and i can also label it for example this is my results figure so I will mention it is a results figure and then I can uh, include the graphics uh, there uh, there are some options like for example the first thing I will do is uh, I'll give the reference that is picture images and picture one.png and it will grab it from here and uh, <coughs> I will click Control S and compile uh, and compile the file uh, but uh, here you can see that this figure is uh, very big and it is not uh, you cannot see it clearly because of the size so I can I can rescale it so I will say for example this is on a very big scale so I can say uh, scale is equal to for example uh, 0. 0. Point maybe 0 0.09 and then I can press and recompile the, the file and you can see again the figure is bigger here so we can say 0. 0.7 and recompile the file again 
and here you can see that the uh, the figure is is uh, now inserted here but uh, you can see that the figure is just below the references and actually we inserted after uh, after this text like the say after the citation uh, so it should be here so for that uh, first of all this figure we, we need to change the uh, size as well for example 0 0.5 scale and uh, to put it uh, back to the position where we cited you can use uh, mm, you can use an option that comes with the figure uh, and it is uh, in the float package you can use H and this it specifies that you have to figure you have to place the figure uh, where it is mentioned and not to uh, and not to move the figure from here and there or to somewhere else so now you can see that the figure is inserted here and you can properly uh, uh, locate its position where you cite it so this is about uh, inserting figure and regarding uh, inserting equations so you can use the mm, like there are some mathematical symbols which you can use inside the sentence for example you want to write uh, 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 3 so you can simply say like uh, I for example I want to write here mm, simply, I have to put dollar sign 1 plus Two is equal to three and now I can see the output here one plus two is equal to three but uh, yeah you can also you can also if you want to like make this equation numbered so then you can say you can write it like uh, begin equation and equation and then you can just say that uh, for example 1 plus 3 is equal to 3 and the difference is that uh, now it is treated as an equation uh, as an equation object and here you can see it is marked as number one for example if I have another equation somewhere else so that equation automatically will be marked as uh, will be marked as equation 2 so this is the difference between if you simply write just like that and if you uh, enclose them in the equation text uh, but for complex equations uh, uh, for example very very complex equation uh, you can go to uh, a website that is already given in the presentation so uh, you can go over there and you can type equations of your own choice for example i'll go there and i'll show you how for example if i want to uh, if i want to make an equation that is like uh, for example a, a divided by b is equal to a plus b divided by uh, something like that for example so uh, i will use friction and for example I say mm, I say a plus b whole square oh sorry for example mm, a plus b whole square you can see the output in real time and a minus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab and similarly uh, I'll copy the same just put here 
left minus so this is the equation of uh, a plus b whole square so uh, you can simply write it here this is a very simple equation but you can write very much complex equations here and you can just copy it and go to your uh, equi uh, in your analytics and paste it like that and then you you can compile it and when i compile i can see that the output is just like that so you can also uh, uh, insert a lot much difficult equation and complex mathematical mathematics here uh, in your in your journal or um, page in your journal article or in your conference proceeding or whatever you are preparing in document for so you can use this uh, editor this uh, editor it is a gui format so it's very easy for use so these are the basic tools and these are the basic takes that we covered uh, if you want to write uh, a complete thesis or journal paper and uh, there are some there are some other important things like for example if you want to submit a paper to a specific journal or to a specific conference and uh, there is a microsoft word format and uh, there we also have some latex format so if you want to apply those uh, formatting so it will be really difficult if you uh, create your own styles and uh, uh, copy the copy the style from them so they provide the latex files where you can just uh, copy their their project and uh, paste it in your directory and create your own project and then you can just uh, write uh, whatever you want like for example you can change the contents as per your paper or per your uh, per your requirement for example uh, I'll, I'll give you a demo for example i want to uh, i want to try um, in IEEE journal uh, journal paper and I want to uh, I want to write a journal paper in for example transaction and let's say let's say IEEE access and I'll click yes so here are two options word and latex uh, I'll, I'll select latex of course and uh, I'll download the template uh, as I already have the template but okay I'll download it again so then uh, uh, when I go to my packet there we have access and there, uh, there are some files like for example uh, this is the uh, classes that are already defined and how to put images and uh, header and footer and every stuff so I'll go to my uh, text editor and I'll say uh, upload mm, for example I want to uh, uh, or I'll just go back to my project and I will say new project upload project and here I'll drag that excess zip file and when it compiles now you can see uh, everything is in excess format and I just have to uh, just have to write my own uh, replace it with my own content for example if uh, if I have uh, for example I have an already published paper so I will copy the abstract but you can write abstract for example uh, here you can write your own name let's say uh, uh, this the paper title is uh, let's say the paper title is I will copy one of my own paper's title and I'll say this is the mm, this is the mm, this is my name I replaced it with mine and uh, 
uh, also uh, my membership is uh, not other uh, not the not this one so I will change also the um, affiliation for example video and I will also change my email for example xyz and then if when I compile it so uh, the whole things it comes according to uh, according to my requirements and here I also can uh, write my own abstract for example I will remove this abstract and and I can continue and similarly I can enter the keywords and I can go into the introduction part and everything and there uh, they also have like uh, everything already prepared for you so you just need to put your content and you just need to focus and concentrate on what you have to write here you don't need to worry about the formatting and everything so this is a simple method if you want to copy any other journals uh, uh, any other journals format you can just go to like triple template selector and you can download a uh, template of your own choice so that's all about the mm, that's all about the uh, latex and how to write a paper or research article uh, uh, a thesis in latex insert equations inserting figures and how how to how to give comments and write comments and there are some other useful tool like for example if you want to share this document so you can you can simply just uh, uh, turn on link sharing and also you can uh, uh, type your collaborator name they can also edit and the uh, other good things are here you can write for example if you want to review this there are some options that are limited that have that are limited like uh, in the free access but you can uh, buy the license and in the free you can add comment for example please replace this abbreviation and you can write the comments so whenever your uh, your collaborator he hits uh, uh, he enters here and he can resolve this comment or he can reply to you okay this is not correct or something like that and he can also resolve it so this is another good thing about it and then you can just unclick the review tab and here it will be closed automatically and you can also go to the history and there is some chat options you can do chat with your collaborators and then there is submit option uh, which you can uh, try on your own and there are a lot of other options uh, so it's very easy uh, for you and convenient as well as professional so i will highly recommend to write uh, your articles in uh, in latex and try it uh, and of course you will like it so now we will move on to the to some uh, some research uh, basic mistakes and some suggestions that we can follow uh, i'll show you so uh, first of all like if you have prepared if you have prepared a document so the most important thing is that you make sure uh, you have the page numbers uh, like if you want to uh, send it to some professor or your senior so uh, there shouldn't be any mistakes uh, any basic mistakes particularly so try to uh, make sure that it has page numbers and also check out that the overall structure of the paper for uh, for instance then headings and subheadings their number is it according to the journal format that you are submitting to is it according to the conference format that you are submitting to or also you have to check out uh, you know, for example if there is 1.1 so the subheading should be 1.1.1 and 1.1.2 or something 
something like that so you have to double check all this stuff and also you have to check about the consistency of the headings format font style and sizes and all this and also the figures and tables numbering and also uh, the important thing is that uh, each table or figure uh, where it is appears so it should be near to the uh, text where uh, you have cited uh, you have cited that figure so as it is very so that like it is easy for readers to follow your table and to uh, go to the figure that you have mentioned and also um, check out the abbreviation uh, and you just have to define a each and every abbreviation at the first appearance and try to follow the standard format where uh, if you want to define an abbreviation then the first letter of each uh, word should be capital uh, like for example i want to define cnns convolutional neural network then for the convolutional neural network c of convolution enough neural and enough network should be capital check out for the style color text format and everything there should be consistency in the equation numbering and uh, most importantly uh, check out the sentence and title case and heading and also in the figures inside the uh, in the text that is inside the figures and uh, their formats and fonts should be similar to each other check out the structure of abc and uh, this uh, end structure and uh, like there are two comma structure when you use end you have to uh, put comma before the last thing that you are referring and uh, the other format is that you just directly say a b and c without this comma so if you have followed the first format then it should be consistent throughout the paper and if not then it should be consistent like if it is without the comma then it should be consistent throughout the article and the number and names of the framework and text uh, it should be consistent and also if there are only two others in the paper then write the first or last name of each other like a and b with reference and for more authors then you can write uh, x y z at all uh, and the correct format for it all is that you have to put a dot here before the reference and a space okay so that's about some basic mistakes uh, you should try and you should avoid these mistakes and uh, <clears throat> when you send the paper to your senior or to your professor uh, that's all and thank you very much for listening to me uh, i hope you will have learned a lot of new things and i really am hopeful that you will uh, implement these things in your research writing